I just got back from a few days out of office and I wanted to leverage Copilot to quickly summarize what I've missed in emails and teams and help me prioritize my replies. Nothing new here, I've done this before, but this time when I went to do it, I noticed the Try GPT-5 button. I figured this was a perfect chance to actually put the same prompt in twice and compare the results against GPT-4 Turbo, what it was currently using, and the new GPT-5 option. So I tried out the same prompt of asking for a simple summary of Teams messages and emails that are unread that I've missed and helping me summarize and prioritize the responses so I could compare them. The first thing I noticed is that GPT-5 goes much deeper, showing the steps for its working and its reasoning, and generally the answers felt a lot more clued into what I was expecting. I can't show everything in detail due to being real world work of course, but just as an example, uh, GPT-5, the first email it flagged to me was responding to a request to complete my Microsoft Ignite badge registration, which is time bound and is very critical, but this didn't come up in GPT-4 at all, which shows GPT-5 was a little bit better clued into some of the contextual clues and understanding what's critical and important for me. It wasn't just about the summary, but also on the recommendations and taking actions too. The GPT-4 model simply asked me, do you want me to craft some replies to these emails? Whereas GPT-5 highlighted six critical emails, gave me a recommended short answer, and then asked me which one of these do I want to flesh out or adjust, which is a much smarter way of approaching things. So with the more intelligent summaries, the option to draft emails, calendar blocking and more, GPT-5 was a much faster way to get back on top of things and get back into the swing of things. I can definitely see a lot of great potential here and we'll be using the GPT-5 option a lot more going forward. Have you tried it out or done a comparison yet? Let me know in the comments below.